my name is Kay. I'm a poet and a writer and on this channel I do reactions to K-pop videos, specifically lyric reactions and breakdowns. And I saw Taemin on Sushwita Sugar's talk show. His new song Guilty. Okay, it sounds really good. And I was just like, we need to look at these lyrics. I need to see him dance. Like, it looks great. Okay, it sounds good. And it's one of those that like, even from like a small clip, it's like, oh no, it's already in my head. We're gonna look at Taemin's Guilty. I'm very excited. Uh, if you wonder what all the crying is from the kitty, there's a new guy in the house. His name is Boomy. There's a video on my other channel all about rescuing him, but he's in the room with me today. And he has a lot to say. He's a very friendly guy. If you hear anything, that's him. And let's just jump on in. Taemin's guilty. Here we go. Okay, it's kind of dark, isn't it, so far? I did, I thought something, something Taman has said about it that I saw that I thought was really interesting was that he said he really wanted it to be genderless. And he's kind of known for being a little bit genderless, right? And I think it's interesting that he was, so, he said he was aiming for that in this. So there's a lot of this sort of orphanage kind of look to this. Poison apple, spellbound, you want to take a bite. So it's already, we got... We got a Snow White situation here, right? Hand outstretched, in danger, sinking deeper. So hand outstretched then like you're drowning and asking for help? Just a little more. That's all it takes. Messing you up. I throw it all away. I think, I think it's been said that maybe the song is about an unhealthy relationship. He does like to sing about that kind of stuff though, doesn't he? And there's definitely a second person then in this storyline. Okay, so is he playing the, the victim then in this unhealthy relationship? Gift you once as bait. So being nice one time to draw you in or giving you something nice once to draw you in and then I take everything. Oh, yes. Is that how you are? You're drawing me in by being the sweetest guy? Yeah, and then you're gonna eat all the food? Uh-huh. Make you addicted. You can't tell pain from love. It is definitely about an abusive relationship there. That's what we've become, he says. Oof. Oof! Taman. And then it's all for you. And then these hands going up to his face. But then there's something violent happening over here. Okay, let's watch. Oh, oh, I stopped on a good point. That dance looked like he was like being beat up a little bit, right? I mean, of course he's gonna be a good dancer, but that was a very cool, I actually wanna watch that part again. Okay, my judgment in the final moment. This person has very much got a hold on you. Ooh, you got me. And then guilty, G-U-I-L-T-Y. So not even ashamed of any of it. Trick and take everything from you. And it looks like he's the victim here. It looks like hands are pushing and prodding him. Again, just playing a game all for fun. Hundreds of lies. So this, is, he's this part he's singing is almost coming from the other person then. Oh yeah, G-U-I-L-T-Y. Why guilty? My words taking you for a spin. Things might be further than we've gone. We'll start from.
sense. Um, so this part where the guy wraps him up in the thing was like slightly scary for a second. He's just wrapping him in a towel, but it's almost like an orderly, right? With the white suit. So my words taking you for a spin. And this being outside in this dim light too. Who's gonna punish me? So I'm above the law here, basically. Loving you is a crime. It's not just abusive that it's it's criminal, which with all of the like um, orphanage symbolism is actually kind of disturbing, isn't it? A little one hopes there's not a, a pedophile undertone, right? Okay. When you've caught on, I'm already gone. I can walk like this, talk like this, play like this. I can make believe. I can be what needs to be. Just this line, I think when he said he wanted to be really genderless, I thought was interesting in that context. But in the context of the other lyrics of this song, it's very much like I can manipulate you, you know, almost torture you, but I can also not appear that way. Like I can be whatever I need to be to not get caught. I'm gonna get away with the way I'm treating you, which is, this is dark, this boy. And then we got the orderly again, which again is a little bit disturbing with the, with all of this other stuff going on. Oh my, okay. Okay, now we've almost got, we've got like a crown going on. We also are rocking the skirt, rocking the skirt. Love it. We've got a whole new look happening here. So go on and deny your heart, okay, for tonight. This look, love it. Love everything about it. You want me even in this moment. So even while I'm torturing you, maybe, uh, tell me the truth now. And then he's got this crown and standing above everyone. Give up, you're trapped inside me. And this looks very uh, dangerous. In, in this video, is someone getting killed a little bit? Kind of seems that way. Either someone is manipulating someone else and it's bad, or someone is taking revenge on someone else for something that was bad. Like, there is bad things happening. This is very dark. All this happening on here. Okay, let's go back a little bit to here. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Yeah, I did just pause on the abs. All right. Judge me. <laughs> so on that vague border between good and bad. And anytime someone's saying there's a vague border between anything, you should suspect them. And anytime someone's like, oh, there's a vague border between the... No, usually there's not. Usually there's a clear and defined border, defined line. Then you're just so far past it, you can't see it anymore. Get your eyes checked. Retrace your steps. My final judgment in the moment. I mean, there's a lot of creepiness, isn't there? Okay, well, now we'll do the, the shirt thing again. Very cool, very good dance move. <laughs> But again, okay, he does that shirt thing, and for some reason it's not necessarily sexy, right? Like he's showing his abs, so everyone's gonna scream. But it's not necessarily sexy, and it's not overtly masculine. He didn't rip his shirt off or anything. Like even the girls were doing it, and it was very like, I don't know. It, it has more of that, like a different hand caging you, but you're able to do it then on the stage. It's very good. It's, yeah, it's very well done, so you're like it disembodies the hand a little bit but it's something you can easily do on the stage as part of a dance move. It's really cool. I'm assuming he choreographed this himself. And so like, of course it's gonna be cool, but like, ah, oh, it, it's real good. Wait, now they're just like piling bodies on this bed. We got back to the, the chorus again. We're tricking and taking everything from you. Hundreds of lies. What? Oh, now we got some other scene. Okay. Oh, oh my. This is... <laughs> Ooh, I 
want you to lose yourself. And then the, not it, not in a romantic way though, because that's what will make our love easy. You losing yourself into being whoever I want you to be and doing whatever I want you to do. It's gonna make it easy on me, says the speaker of this song. And everyone's doing some vaguely sexual things or vaguely violent things. Everything is vaguely sexual, vaguely violent. I mean, if you're gonna depict an abusive relationship, that is like, they are spot on. So this is the orderly now on the floor here. Just doing things my own way. And the bigger the pain, the sweeter it remains. And now emotionless in the middle of all of this chaos. Okay, so this, this orphanage thing, something is happening. Grabbing onto the leg of the, the security officer or the orderly or whoever that was. Taman's out there, got an inhaler, so something scary. Like, there's a lot happening. And it's all very dark and disturbing in the, the... Like, I don't want this to be a song that's just depicting, like, the dark side and reality and... Uh, the children being sexually abused, but it does seem like this is like a memory of a, a past time kind of thing that he's going into. And it could just be for the, the sake of the song and it has nothing to do with anything Taman has ever experienced or knows about and he might not even be intending that, but man. And now we're hitting some kind of violence with the fire here. Like, damn, this video. That outfit reminded me of Jay Hopes in, in Arson at the end when it's all burned out. So it's, it's meant to look burned out. So this is what it's meant to look like. It was a white clothing and then got burned. And that this is the after effect. Like that's that effect. That's what they do for it. So that just reminded me of that. So again, we're back into that chorus. Sorry, that was the coolest dance move I've ever seen. That like fluid, what? That was so cool. Ah, oh, okay. Him being an incredible dancer is taking away from the horror of this like plot line. But like, ah, oh, it's it's so good. It, it's adding to it, but it's also like taking me out because I'm just like, damn, sir, you can really dance. I want to do that part again. Cause that that was so that was such a cool move. Sir, sir, what was that about? Oh my God, that was dark. There was like a car accident going on at the end. That was quite intense. I would love, I, Taman hasn't seemed to be like talking about it in any kind of like depth. It really seemed like, oh, this is his new song. And the dance is freaking cool. I can't wait to watch it live perform because it's gonna be freaking cool. But what is this music video? I just, what are they depicting? here this story seems so dark it, okay so like I guess in my head it almost seems like he's playing this character then so then the, the, the singing is uh, almost from a different entity or maybe him mocking an entity now that he's come back and is an adult so then as a child in what seems to be an orphanage or maybe like a boys school or something like that that wasn't very good they were maybe tortured maybe sexually abused even like it seemed pretty bad it seemed like they were definitely abused or tortured in some way and then he's coming back at some point uh, maybe after this accident, whatever happened at the end here, coming back to that, um, this could be a metaphor for mental health as well and how people are treated with mental health. Um, but he comes back and then he's got like a posse. He's got like some friends and they fuck some shit up. 
they just go through and tear that place apart as it probably deserves from the way they were treated but they like burn it all to the ground and then he's got this like this depiction of strength almost going on at that point um but it's almost like like reviving the circle again that the abuse is going to come back even so something i don't know this was very intense i would love to know what thoughts what anyone knows about this that was a crazy music video really cool dance really cool so i'm gonna keep oh my god really that's that kind of song is my jam i like the dark songs but wow it was intense leave a comment down below and let me know uh like and subscribe if you like this kind of content check out the other shiny videos i've done anyway i post videos on tuesdays and thursdays i'll see you again soon bye